guys and welcome back to the channel it's poison skies before we begin i want to say hit that subscribe button it's free it makes me happy and i'd really appreciate it in this video we are going to be talking about brit barbie now if you don't know who brit barbie is then i assume you live underneath a rock or you have a magical genie that is providing you very good luck and i'm gonna need you to hand him over so you don't know who brit barbie is here is her video that she posted on tiktok that she has gained a lot of following from Brit Barbie Period up, period up, period up, period up, period up. Of course, that video has gotten millions of likes. And then, not only that, here comes in the haters and the supporters. It wasn't long before all the accusations came up against her of racism. In her older videos, she was caught using a black scent, which is also known as a black accent, and also she was using AAVE. AAVE stands for African American Vernacular English. If you don't know what that means, I'm putting the definition up on the screen. Not only was Brit Barbie caught being racist, she was also caught faking a disability. For example, here's her regular voice versus the voice she made faking a disability. I have a contest for y'all. Whoever can dress like me the best is gonna win free merch. They gonna win some money. And they gonna get a shout out for Halloween. Guys, my Amazon wish list is link in my bio. It's link in my bio, guys. You guys are amazing. Love you guys so much. Always remember, never forget, you're not enough. After a lot of people started commenting on her post, calling her out for faking a disability, also people came forward with actual disabilities coming at her. Eventually, that pushed her into making a TikTok trying to explain what she was doing, and this is her response. Hey guys, I just wanted to come on here and explain something because, um, it's all over my comments. It's all of my comments, and yeah. A lot of people are saying that I'm faking a disability and they're saying that I'm making fun of people with a disability or a speech impediment. Those videos of me um, unpackaging and me talking about my wish list and me talking in that type of way are all just skits of like Miranda things. I never once claimed that I was um trying to act like somebody that has a disability i never once claimed that um i was mocking them i would never do such a thing basically somebody made a video and they just said that i was doing that and instead they could have came to me and said like hey like is this what you're doing and obviously the answer is no but once someone says something, everybody always has to follow. And yeah. But that is not something I would ever do. And um, I'm sorry to anybody I offended, but it's not something that, it's not what people are saying that it is. So yeah. I just wanted to clear the air. Everybody have a good night. Period. Ah! Now, it honestly seems like she is faking a disability. Miranda Sings uses more of an accent, and she uses more of a speech impediment. She puts spaces in between her words, and she speaks in a manner of somebody who does have a disability. Now, on the other hand, like I said, Miranda Sings does more of an accent and plays like a character. Moving on, a TikToker by the name of Alyssa McKay has came forward to do a friendly roast battle with Brit Barbie. Now... Whether who wins is up to everyone else and the viewers. However, for me personally, I believe that Alyssa McKay has won this one. Not only was Alyssa McKay's roast on top, but also hers went into a good rhythm and she didn't reuse her song. For example, Brit Barbie, she did reuse a song, one of her other songs that she has created. She just added to it and her roast wasn't really towards her. It was more about her looking like Liv and Maddie. So... That's something that everybody calls Alyssa, so it's not really original, so I think that Alyssa won this one. I will show Alyssa's roast video, and then I will show Brit Barbie's roast video. Whoever you decide is up to you, but like I said, I'm still on Alyssa's side. 
Brit Barbie. Hey girl. You have been making quite the name for yourself. Uh -huh. But I'm here to remind you. <laughs> who was here first? Uh -huh. You drop one track and you think you're the shit. What? Here's a chair, babe. I advise you to sit. Cause I've been the queen of rap. I know it's hard to admit. But I'm an OG. You're the counterfeit. Running all these meet and greets. Like who even are you? Your only claim to fame is period. Ah, period. Ooh. I can't believe this girl thinks that she's a real rapper. Babes, we all know your fans are all paid actors. If you really think you got it, let me hear what you got. If your bag really secure, then let me see what you bought. Don't be scared to hit me back. Cause you know you got caught. I always throw punches, baby. Never cheap shots. You only famous because you look like Liv and Maddie. I don't do the internet, baby, send the Addy. You the Walmart version of the Liv and Maddie. Wouldn't even know you if you didn't add me. Now I'm gonna show you because your mom and daddy. Even if you were the queen, you would have been the throne. When's the last time anybody sing your song? I had a movie the line was long. I think someone should tell you that your time is gone. You're a TikTok rapper, real non-factor. One thing about my kids, they ain't paid actors. You're hustling backwards, dissing on me. It's giving hater, not OG. I'm the female Eminem. My name's not Slim. Not to be shady, but I'm not like them. You can call me bad baby, but baby, I'm a team. You can catch me outside, but I bet you won't win. I'm the female Eminem. My name's not Slim. Not to be shady, but I'm not like them. You can call me bad baby, but baby, I'm a team. Now that we are at the end of the video, I do want to state my opinion on Brit Barbie. Yes, I think she's a bad person because she did fake a disability and she was racist. I also do not consider her famous because I think she's more of a trend that will blow away in a few months, such as like Whoa Vicky, Island Boys, and Gorilla Glue Girl. Some trends are actually clever and very funny and everything, and they get a lot of clout for it. Other trends are just so stupid and so funny that it gets a lot of clout. So I think she's on the spectrum of so stupid that it's funny and people blew her up for that reasoning. Me personally, I think that we should pay more attention on who we give clout to in this world. I think we should give more clout to the people who actually deserves it, who actually worked for it, who actually put effort in what they do, other than being some type of meme or trend on the internet. Someone who truly does deserve it. Again, with all that being said, subscribe to my channel. It's free, it makes me happy, and I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.